it's Amy and Tim with Go With Less. Good morning. We are going to try something new. I see that I'm stopping the video like at the like. There's not a smooth exit. Well, good morning. Yes, this is going to be a good morning uh, because even though we're filming this at the end of the day, we're filming this at the beginning for the video. So to kind of set up what you're going to see. So what's going on today? We are in our last full day of Prague, and we did visit the Jewish quarter, which had some sad Jewish history. I am not going to include that in this video. So I did a video about it, but it's not the kind of thing to add in with like, hey, we had dessert and fun. It's not that sort of thing, experience. And so uh, it deserves its own distinct thing that has some reverence. So that will be on its own. Uh, but what else did we do today, Tim? So uh, we also went to a, a beer garden to watch the World Cup game, and we met some new friends there, which was an amazing event, so we had a fantastic time. I told Amy on the way back from the event that this is probably my favorite thing we've done the entire time we've been in Europe. So this is a, a couple of weeks, and so it was a great experience just to meet up with some friends, and also the energy there was high. I could care less about soccer just in general, so the game tonight was Mexico versus Germany. We had Mexico, our backs to the TV. Mexico won, <laughs> by the way, and so uh, a shout out to North America, I guess. So actually, we were forced to root for the Germans because of the folks we were with, but... Uh, we uh, love Mexico, too. That's right. So it was a great event, and so we uh, we, 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 we went and got a, a turd load today, as Amy likes to call them, as well as some... Uh, ice cream so. we had our so we have found two amazing desserts here yep. we had one of each of them today and we shared it so there will be a video coming up with that and we're gonna see why tim thought this was his favorite event when tim said we met up with new friends our friend jesse in denver hooked us up with a friend of hers by the name of steve who has lived here for almost two years with his wife marta so it wasn't like random people that we met which is totally fine and we've done that too just not on this trip so normally meeting new people when we travel is one of our absolute favorite things and tonight, this, it's been that. two weeks and we haven't met any new people until tonight so we are thrilled and so thanks for being so welcoming and here's our day hi it's Tim and Amy and it is our last full day in Prague we got a really late start today so we left our hotel at 12 30 uh, for the first time we didn't have breakfast so that's real I wouldn't say that's unusual for us because we but often we're out hustling for tours and things like that but not today, so it was really nice to have a chill start. Yes, Yesterday, we talked about our Indian lunch. It was actually meh, so uh, we've had... It wasn't uh, bad. Yeah, we love Indian food. Meh. So yeah, so Indian food is one of our favorite cuisines. That one was so-so. Um, but what we did today, we're in a mall food court, and so we talk about loving these food halls. Sometimes This mall has a beautiful food court, actually, so while there may be a McDonald's, and it also may be a lot fancier than the McDonald's that we have in the States, as is every McDonald's we've ever seen in Europe. What about fancier? Well, it's just they, they have different things. They have so. like a whole uh, dessert have, case yeah. of, uh, of pastries that look fresh and home. It looked like a Vienna cafe. So this food court sort of lets us experience the... Um, um, Fast casual concept it's here, cheap. here in Europe, so it's sort it's of like a, it's like a downscale food uh, hall, and so lots of options and uh, reasonably priced options. I, well, it's, it's cheaper. It's still uh, it's, it's going to cost us twelve dollars mm. for lunch today. So I guess in the scheme of things, not too bad. Maybe so. a little more than that today, actually. Um, but we ordered. I'm going to show you our salad. I'm going to show the restaurant because it's actually really nice. But when we're traveling for nine weeks, every if it's not like we're on vacation for a week and we're going to go for like home run food at every single bite, we're traveling for nine yeah. weeks and our we're budget, on a yeah, and, we're the, and, our, and our diet wouldn't afford that. Right. So when people are like, that's ridiculous that you go to the mall food court. I get it. But this we're kind of eating a little more. We try to eat a little more like locals might eat who have, have to, who don't have a kitchen. And so that's, that's I guess that's where we are. We're like locals without a kitchen. And so while we might go out to eat a couple days like with a server, that's kind of the rarity and a special yep. treat versus every single day. Otherwise, we'd be blowing up our, our clothes. Budget and blowing up our waist. Totally. So I'm going to give a little picture here. So this is, I'm going to flip it. Uh, and we're waiting for a nice lasagna to come out. Actually, I don't know that we can flip it, but here's our nice salad. We had this the other day and it was delicious. And here is, this is, this is a malt, this is a food court. Not bad. And, uh, and we already had this salad the other day, so we know it's delicious. So we're off to a fun day. We don't have any tours today. Our friends Christy and Howard have left. They're off in Krakow and they're gonna meet up with us in Berlin. Yeah, we're going to a couple of cemeteries today, so that's something Fun. we'll talk about when we're there. But uh, yeah, we actually enjoy cemeteries. We do like cemeteries, so I, mean, I shouldn't be joking, but uh, it doesn't sound like a fun day, but it is going to be an interesting day. There you go. And here's our baby lasagna with a bechamel sauce and a meat sauce inside. That looks so delicious. It's boiling hot, so maybe we'll wait a minute. 
Hi, we're working on week two of our European trip, so uh, this Today's is our two-week anniversary of arriving in Europe. That's exactly right. So we're going to be here for nine weeks, and so we thought we'd make some quick observations about our health and sort of just how we're doing in general. So yesterday we walked 25,000 steps, which yeah. is a little over the 10 longest, miles. It's the biggest day we've had so far. We've had a lot yep. of big days. We're averaging over seven okay. miles a day, yep. like seven to ten miles every day. So we want to talk about our feet. Yep, so we're walking a lot. And, and, so, we're standing, and we're standing and we're on a lot and we're walking on uneven surfaces a lot and so just overall what we're doing with our walking is uh, is a little torturous on our body one of the things we realized yesterday or as we were walking back to our hotel yesterday not I shouldn't say realized we talked about is that we're sort of getting used to this and so we weren't necessarily hurting like we early on in the trip we're, we're just feeling really like at the end of the day we're worn out however um, Whenever we do get back, something we've also noticed is that we're sleeping better now. Wait, so before we... you move into sleeping, I do want to talk about yeah. we're still on feet. Okay. So Tim and I each brought two pairs of shoes. We spent some money on these shoes. So we went to the walking company and got fitted for shoes that are good yeah. for serious walking and like kind of the hard concrete surfaces that they're not, it's not like trails that we're doing. We're doing cement cobblestones. So uh, so we both have two new, uh, I have two so, new pairs of shoes. Tim has one new pair of shoes from the walking company. We spent about 150 bucks each pair of these shoes. But all, that's all we brought. Was, all we brought is two pairs of shoes for nine weeks and we're walking an average of seven, eight miles every single day. So we need good shoes. Um, and then, uh, and what so I realized- So while we're all about value, certainly that's a place where yeah, we're willing to invest. Totally. So we feel like this isn't just, we're not spending money on shoes, we're making an investment in our feet. Yes, and making sure that we can keep doing this. And then I had a whole bunch of hot spots on my feet the first, I don't know, like nine or 10 days where I was like ready to blister any minute. So I had like blisters, like ready to be blistered. Well, thankfully, they're, it's not beautiful, but they calloused. So now uh, hopefully my feet have like hardened to rocks and it makes it a little bit easier where I don't have, a, I don't feel like I'm blistering anymore. Yep. So moving on to our sleep. And so when we first got here, both oh. of us were, were sleeping poorly. So like we went three, back and four forth. hours a night for the yeah. first week. It if you notice really our hard. videos and we have circles under our eyes, be gentle because we only had, we had so little sleep for the first week. It was hard for us to get adjusted. And so jet lag is real. And so it took us two weeks pretty much to get- And it was get, noisy in the courtyard. There yeah. were other reasons beyond jet yeah, lag. Yeah, it wasn't just jet lag. We had so. early tours. I mean, there's a variety of reasons. Yep. But now we, we feel like flight. we're finally adjusted to uh, our, our, our sleeping is normal. Actually, I'm sleeping better here than I sleep at home. So By far. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's all the exercise we're doing during the day. And so I'm just worn out at the end of the day and therefore I'm, I'm sleeping great. But um, yeah. we, are, we are getting better sleep now, finally, after uh, two weeks. And it is June now, so that means that the days are very long. So it starts getting dark at like 10. And we, I mean, we ate dinner last night at, after 9 p.m. So we are on the later plan. And so as long as we don't have an early morning start with a tour or a bus, we're kind of good to go. So last night we went to bed at 1.30 in the morning and we were up at 9.30 in the morning. Normally if we go to bed at 1.30, we're still up really early and we uh, d just compromise on the sleep. So it was really great to get up at 9.30. We had a late start today of 12.30 out the door because we just kind of chilled out and took our sweet old time, which was great. On our last day in Prague, it's nice just to kind of, we're gonna have like another beastly push as soon as we get to Berlin tomorrow. So so we're enjoying a little yep. calmer right now. Well, another thing to mention is just comfort when we sleep. So air conditioning isn't common here in Europe, or at least that's what we've been told. And so there are several places where, I guess the last three places we've stayed, we've had the luxury four. of- Four. Four? Four we've hotels. We've had the luxury of having air conditioning. And so that does make a huge difference. And so yeah. for the second half, or for the re remainder of our trip, I guess it's about it's half of the remainder bag. of our trip, it's a mixed bag. We have three Airbnbs so, coming up. Um, One of them has air, air conditioning. The house sit for three and a half weeks doesn't have air conditioning. So it's gonna be a mixed bag and at night it's gonna be hot. So thanks yep. for watching. Thanks. We're off to do our day. So we had one of these in Budapest, a, a chimney cake is what they're called in Budapest. These aren't a, hung, a um, Prague specialty, but they popped up like about 10 or so years ago, apparently. Most people eat them with ice cream, but the ice cream's kind of like this artificial soft serve, like crap ice cream. It's not good ice cream. So we like them plain yep. and we're sharing one. It's hot off Actually, of the Actually, Amy roll. likes them plain. I like them a little different. So she's putting words in How do you like it? There. I, I like it with a little uh, spice. There's cinnamon and sugar and some other things they put on them. And so uh, also I, I don't mind the ice cream. I kind of like the ice cream. But the ice cream is like poor quality ice eh, cream. So whatever. I figure if you're going to have the most amazing ice cream, great. But it just kind of brings.
brings this down a little bit if you don't have good ice cream. Yes, we have and it so, Amy's And way. it's spelled, yes, this time, Tim is in, the, so if he has beer, it's his way. Uh -huh. So it's spelled T-R-D-L-O. We have no idea how to spell, how to pronounce this, but it is so delicious. It's like a warm cinnamon roll, and the one we had in Budapest was just so-so. This one is great at the base of the uh, Charles Bridge, and we're back to get our second one in uh, of our trip. This is only our second one that we've had since we've been here, which is amazing because I want to eat like, and we're sharing both. I want to eat like four every day. So the fact that we've only had we're not doing two that. halves is a miracle. Yeah. <laughs> So we're here in Prague watching uh, the World Cup. So a friend of introduced us to a friend online, and so we're here with that friend and uh, enjoying the World Cup. It's Germany versus Mexico. Excited to be here. Hi, Axelman. Yeah, I know this guy. It's a big crowd. They're really excited. Lots of energy. It's our last full day in Prague. We leave early tomorrow for Berlin. What do you think of Prague? <laughs> I, I love Prague. It's a, a, a little busy and a little pricier than the other cities we visited. It's not... Uh, it's spectacular nonetheless. It is spectacular yeah. nonetheless. So, so we uh, came to the Charles Bridge, which is a huge tourist thing, to... So we came last night. I didn't have my, to Prague. And I didn't have my camera with me yesterday because it was plugged in back in our room. So I wanted to bring my camera so that I could video it. So. It's also a Sunday night, so the action is a little less... Uh, and it's a little Actually. bit raining, and it's still like wait till you see how many people are here when it's a little bit raining on a Sunday night. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, so stay tuned in two seconds. You're going to see a beautiful 360. Here's the castle. No, that's not the castle. That the castle's in the distance. Here we go. So it is a little rainy. So just that's a statue on the left, like right in front of us, and then that right there is the castle. Beautiful and all lit up. There's the river. So the statue of Charles IV. He's named, a lot of things are named after him in the city. And to our back is the big so there you have it. That was our last full day in Prague. Talk about a beautiful end to the day on that Charles Bridge with the moonlight. What do we have going on tomorrow, Tim? So tomorrow we're heading out of Prague. We're going to Berlin. And so we're taking a four-hour bus ride. So this will be our third Flix bus. So we're excited about our, our Flix bus. Woohoo! We're excited and, uh, to get to a new country. And uh, I don't know that the bus makes me excited, but... <laughs> As we were walking back tonight, Amy said we're going to have to be on the bus at 9 a.m. As it turns out, we're on the bus at noon tomorrow, which is Always check. great news. Yes, so, we don't like getting up early, no. especially for transportation. We have to get there super duper early to make sure we didn't miss it or anything. So yeah, so we are thrilled to be trying out a new city. Um, but the, the schlepping and getting your bags and all that in and out and in and out is definitely some effort. Yeah, so just one. So also, it was we were here in Prague for five nights, and so that is a great amount of time so at our, least our, our last three cities we were there it was way too fast and so we were yeah. happy to be here sort of call it home for five nights and so in Berlin it's the same so we're gonna be there for five nights as well so very much looking forward to our five nights in Berlin yeah and what did you think of the World Cup group could you believe that so that was awesome wasn't it Great interview. we would love to have any comments in the field below we do do our very best to answer those questions right away so if you have any questions if you have any tips about Berlin post them down below we appreciate it thanks for watching see ya good night